Hey everyone, it's Jared Turner. I'm in Oklahoma City, and on this episode, how Oklahoma's very first United States Senator didn't let a disability get in the way of his dreams. This is Oklahoma history on an index card. Thomas Pryor Gore was born in Mississippi in 1870, and as a child, was exceptional at debate and had great oratory skills. But his dream was to be a U.S. Senator. He taught, practiced law, and it was when he moved to Lawton around the turn of the century that he got an opportunity to be a territorial senator for Oklahoma. He served on the state constitutional convention in 1907, and later that same year became one of Oklahoma's very first United States senators. As a young senator, however, he faced a lot of adversity. Oftentimes, legislatures would take advantage of him. He was even known to sign documents when he didn't understand what was setting in front of him, and he lost his bid for re-election in 1920. However, he did regain a Senate seat, serving from 1931 to 1937. As a senator, he would often find himself at odds with either President Woodrow Wilson or later Franklin D. Roosevelt. After leaving office, he practiced law in Washington, D.C. until his death in 1949. He's buried here at the Fairlawn Cemetery in Oklahoma City. Among his accomplishments are being a member of the Oklahoma Hall of Fame. He has a major road named after him in Lawton, and even a town in eastern Oklahoma is named in his honor. If you would like to learn more about Thomas Gore, I would suggest his biography called Thomas P. Gore, the Blind Senator from Oklahoma. That's right. Due to accidents that happened as a child for his entire adult life, Teacher, lawyer, United States Senator Thomas Gore was completely blind. I'm Jared Turner, and this is Oklahoma History on an Index Card.